Salutations, people of the internet, Matt here from Hydro Gaming, and welcome to episode 15 in our game development series, Nightwatch A Journey, where we as a community create our very own single player RPG video game. In today's episode, we're going to go over some new combat systems that have been implemented into the game. Specifically, systems related to melee combat, and a bit of a conundrum I've been having where we should go next in terms of our locomotion system. All that and more coming up right now, so let's jump into today's video. One thing that I wanted to add to our gun combat system is a way to deal with close enemies when we don't have any close range guns like a shotgun. And since we've yet to add our sword combat system, we need a way to knock some heads without a melee weapon. That's where the kick and the gun bash come in. There are different melee animations at play based on what type of firearm you're holding. Either something that falls into the pistol or SMG class, or something that would be categorized as a rifle or shotgun. So it's a melee system similar to what we would see in a game like Mass Effect, where ranged firearms are generally the weapon of focus, but a quick melee strike can help you out of a tough spot if enemies are getting a little too close for comfort. This is also particularly useful in situations where you run out of ammo. Given that in this game guns are considered relics of the old gods and aren't exactly common, it goes without saying that ammo would also be hard to come by. Now generally a bow and arrow combo or a sword would solve this problem, but we haven't gotten there yet in the creation process. So for the time being, we have our gun melee strikes. For what it's worth, I think the animations look quite nice and work well for our intended purpose. Quick side note, I've been getting a few questions on the channel about where the animations come from and if I make them myself. I definitely do not make the animations myself. I lack the resources and talent, so I leave that to much better men than I. These animations are from the marketplace, and if you'd like to check out which assets I used in the game that were purchased from the marketplace, you can check out the Google Doc that I made that documents all marketplace assets that are currently being used in Nightwatch. I update it regularly, but if you see an asset in the game that you know definitely came from the store but isn't in the list, it's probably just because I haven't added it yet, but I'll get to it, don't worry. Since we're on the topic of melee combat, I also wanted to create a system for unarmed combat. So if our player doesn't have a weapon equipped and they find themselves in a situation where they need to defend themselves, simply holding down the right mouse button will put them into a readied combat stance. In this state, rather than the normal walking or running animations, the character will instead strafe in different directions while always facing forward so as to not take their eyes off the enemy they're fighting. While in this state, clicking the left mouse button will cause the player to deliver a quick melee attack. Quick attacks are great for landing multiple blows in a short period of time or knocking back multiple enemies in quick succession. If the player holds down the left mouse button, they'll charge a heavy attack. Upon releasing the left mouse button, the player will trigger an attack that's used for staggering enemies or breaking block stances. Heavy attacks are particularly useful for taking down enemies with shields, which we'll cover in a later devlog video. In future videos, we'll implement a stamina system similar to what we created in our 24-hour game development challenge in the Halloween special. If you haven't gotten a chance to watch this video, Matt challenged me to create a complete and playable horror video game in only 24 hours. The results were... Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Fucking slut! <laughs> well, you'll have to go see for yourself. I'll leave a link to the video in the corner as well as a link to the 24-hour game challenge playlist in the description below. Anyways, the way the stamina system worked in the horror game was it would drain over time whenever the character was sprinting. A similar system will be used here, but in addition, like the stamina system in Skyrim or Dark Souls, stamina will also drain when the player uses a heavy attack or blocks an attack. This being the case, the player will have to keep an eye on their stamina because if it hits zero, blocking will be ineffective and dodging will be impossible. Before we move on, we have a very special message from today's sponsor, us. If you're visiting the channel for the first time and enjoying what you see, just know that we have a wide variety of content on the channel. Besides making our own video game in our flagship series where I work with the community to craft a single player RPG using the Unreal Engine, we're currently doing Minecraft challenges, one-off videos where we play less than popular games on Steam, as well as playthroughs of video games. Right now we're playing Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We also have a merch store with a link in the description down below. And if you enjoy what you've seen on the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and ringing the bell down below for notifications. 
It's totally free and it really helps out the channel. And down the road, if you decide, you can always unsubscribe later. And now, back to the video. Yes, that's right, I did end off the last section by mentioning the ability to dodge. And that's what we'll be covering next. This one's pretty straightforward. So how it works is when you enter a combat stance, such as holding a gun, sword, bow, or hand-to-hand -hand combat, holding down the right mouse button, which would aim down sights, block, or charge a heavy attack depending on your state, and then pressing the space bar will trigger a dodge. Dodging's a great way to maneuver out of sticky combat situations when fighting isn't really an option. However, like I mentioned before, the caveat is that dodging, like heavy attacks, will drain the player's stamina, and when their stamina hits zero, they won't be able to dodge. So it's always wise to keep an eye on your stamina bar, or keep a few extra stamina potions in tow it for emergencies. So we've come a long way since we first started, and we built our very own locomotion system from the ground up. But here's the problem. I'm an amateur game developer with only a few years experience coding and making games. In fact, the horror game we made for Halloween is the first solo project I've ever actually finished. The problem with this is when bugs and errors crop up in the locomotion system I've made, which there are a lot of, sometimes I'm not sure how to fix them and little bugs here and there, while I do eventually fix them, take a lot of time to diagnose and repair. This is valuable time that I could be devoting to other aspects of the game. I mean, look at how many episodes we spent just fixing problems with the locomotion system, and there are still so many left. That's where the advanced locomotion system comes in. This is a marketplace system that operates as the movement foundation for the budding third-person project such as Nightwatch. Using the advanced locomotion system asset, I could solve problems like vaulting over objects not always working properly, foot IK just randomly disabling itself, and sometimes getting stuck in the ground or frozen in the air. Now, I would only use ALS for movement in the game world. The way guns, weapons, abilities, dodging, pickups, character customization, armor, the game world, and so on work would not change at all. The only difference would be that the movement experience for players would be a lot smoother and I could devote my time to other game aspects. Anyways, that's not a change I'll be implementing in this video, but something I'll definitely come back to in the future. Maybe I'll make a community poll and viewers can vote on whether or not they want to use the ALS movement system or the one we made on the channel. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell down below for all the latest Nightwatch news and updates. Also consider visiting our merch store. It's newly opened, and we've got a lot of neat Hydro Gaming themed apparel. 100% of all merch store revenue goes right back into funding Nightwatch. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for stopping by everyone, and we'll see you next time.